All right, we can't wait to dig into this one. Here's my plate. Kelly has already dug in and said that it's pretty darn good. Now, I just wish we had more than the two of us here to eat it all. Hey everyone, it's been a while. Welcome to Cooking with Jimmy K. A little cold in Pennsylvania, so we're gonna do a little corned beef and cabbage. Very simple. We got a head of cabbage. We've got some pickling spice. You can get that in any supermarket. And we've got our potatoes boiling in a pot. And with that pickling spice, I made a little bit of cheesecloth, a spice bag, and we got that in there with the potatoes. We're gonna throw the cabbage in once those potatoes start to get soft. I sous vide overnight a piece of corned beef, and I took that spice pack on the top, scraped it into here as well with all those juices from the sous vide bag. If you don't have a sous vide, no big deal. Just put this in a Dutch oven like this and put it in the oven at 275 for three hours and then just combine it all together later. What we're going to do now is I'm just going to foil up this corned beef and I'm going to stick it back in the oven and just to keep it warm. We're going to turn this oven off. I had it warming up there even though we sous vide it. All right, we'll be back. All right, we've got all the kids in the pot. Got the cabbage, potatoes, and our carrots, and Kelly's frying up some cabbage on the side with some butter and oil. Looks delicious. All right, Kelly's got her fried cabbage done. That looks really delicious. And then we've got our potatoes ready to go, and we're gonna start slicing up this corned beef. Now, warming up in the oven. You see how that just slices real nice. You get a little couple thicker slices. Got a really good smell to it. So we'll slice this up while the other cabbage is getting soft in the pot. And then we can dig in to our little, I guess would this be considered a Pennsylvania Dutch meal? Absolutely. Or a German meal, I guess, huh? Looks really good. All right, we'll be back with this plated up real soon. All right, we have just got the cabbage done. And we are just taking some of that nice juice. And we're putting that around our potatoes and our meat. And it's time to dig in. Hope to see everyone again soon. Please hit that subscribe button. And check us out at Cooking with Jimmy K. We're going to have more videos coming. Have a great day.